so many of us are hearing this term OpenStack and how it relates to the cloud, but there are lots of things that we need to know about OpenStack in the cloud. We're just going to go over some of those primary components here in the next couple of minutes and view some other videos on this channel related to OpenStack and what are some of the things that you need to be careful of and the realities of OpenStack. So we know that OpenStack is really focused on cloud technology. A lot of us are hearing that we got to use OpenStack to go to the cloud and it's free and it's great and it's wonderful. So, and it is, and it's got a lot of those attributes to it. But let's go ahead and talk here about some of those primary components. So we know we want to go to the cloud. So you see represented on the screen here, the cloud. And let, let me just draw in the second major component of any cloud environment is the management of the cloud. So the management of the cloud includes things as simple as provisioning, deprovisioning, how we access uh, virtual environments, things of that nature, because this is an important component when you take a physical server, for example, and you draw in here virtual servers. And, oops, sorry about that. So you <laughs> draw in virtual servers here, and um, they all reside within this physical server. Now, typically in a cloud environment, you have virtual servers within a physical server. So uh, here, let's just draw in some of those uh, Vs there for virtual. And then, of course, you have all of those that exist within a physical machine. If you do not have a good management infrastructure to um, manage this environment, you're going to be in trouble. And so what does this virtual environment give us? It gives us compute and it gives us storage. So basically it gives us resources. So we're going to draw in here. I don't like that. Let's draw a disk instead. I'm not the best artist, but uh, hopefully you get the idea. So here we're going to have a disk. And so what, what are we getting with these resources? We're getting compute and RAM as well as storage resources. And these things are important for us. Uh, to operate within the cloud environment. Now, not represented on this screen is the functionality of the cloud. So we're going to draw that here in just a moment. Let's go ahead and finish this, this guy up here. So let's go ahead and move, move uh, compute and RAM and storage up there. This is more of, a, of what the cloud gives us, right? What we can get from the cloud. And this is how we provide functionality like, for example, email as a service is a functionality of the cloud. Now, one thing that we haven't drawn in to this slide is orchestration. So orchestration is the ability to manage it from a user perspective. Remember, all we're really talking about is functionality within the cloud environment, management within the core compute cloud view other videos for the orchestrator and kind of how all that fits in. So what are these OpenStack components that provide functionality? Of course, we have email as a service, but from a management perspective, of course, we have Neutron over there for network management. Um, on our compute, we have Glance, which is doing some of our image management, Cinder uh, and Swift, both uh, storage-focused technologies. All these are all projects within OpenStack. Of course, we have Keystone as well for security under functionality, and Nova, which is the primary component used for management of the cloud environment. So this screen here, just take a look here. These are the OpenStack components or software components that make up an OpenStack cloud.